right, now for the scientific test. Nobody should do any of the things I'm about to do on stage. It's just plain stupid, and I can't guarantee that 100% of the time you're not going to lose your prize guitar if you do this. But nevertheless, we need to put this thing through its paces. So let's start with the notorious helicopter. Okay, second, keep it nice and tight. Yep, looks all tight. The drop test. Don't push it too far, but it's way, way safer than a strap. It's also great for attaching to the headstock of acoustic guitars. All you need to do is open it all the way up, put it on the machine heads, and it stays hidden, doesn't put your guitar out of tune, and you get that stretch effect to keep your back nice and comfortable. As I said in the introductory video, Fender makes the way less elastic strap, but there's a difference between wearing something which is solid on your shoulders and only elastic at the ends, as well as the fact that that makes it adaptable to any existing strap you already own. Ernie Ball has made uh, the locking strap, but to my mind, it looks a little space age. And it's also incompatible with uh, SG and SE models. Not to mention you can't attach it to a Bigsby tremolo or acoustic headstocks. In my humble opinion, the Chord Man looks more rock and roll. Looking great on anything from vintage guitars to today's instruments. No other system provides all these features. Stretch, security, simple to attach, versatile, looks cool, compatible with all straps, and it's inexpensive. Cordman at cordman.com.